Luxury comes in many ways, and having an expensive picture on the wall is a sure way of screaming rich to all who visit you. For those who love museums and private collections, no doubt paintings and artworks all around the world are super expensive. Hanging a painting on your wall is not only decorative but has a class and sense of elegance to it. From the days of old, people have assembled in awe of a painting with artists being celebrated across the world. Hello, welcome to our channel. Today we shall be counting down some of the most expensive artworks in the world, independent of age. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more luxurious content. Stay tuned. Number 10. New Kush. In English, New Kush translates to Red Nude. This painting was crafted in 1917 by all on canvas by Italian artist Amadeo Modigliani under the patronage of Polish dealer Leopold Zborowski. It is believed to have been displayed at the gallery Birth Vale as a part of Amadeo's first and only show that was shut down by the police as it was deemed obscene by viewers. Amadeo was believed to be religious and glorified nudity having drawn many nude pictures. The painting is part of a series of 22 canvases. The painting was sold in 2015 to Chinese billionaire Liu Shijian for $170 million. Number 9. Les Femmes d'Algier Translated as Women in Algiers, this painting is a part of a 15-part series painted by Spanish artist Pablo Picasso. He began drawing these paintings in December 1954 after the death of his friend Matisse. Matisse was famous for his images of languid, voluptuous women and Picasso joked about continuing his legacy. This version, called version O, is the best-known category. The paintings represent Algerian women in their apartments doing various activities. The version has them in their harem with a hookah they use to smoke opium. It is said to be a new form of painting. The collection was owned by the Gantz family, with the version O being sold to the Qatari royal family in 2015 for $179 million. Number 8. Pendant Portraits of Martin Solmans and Optin Coppet As the name depicts, these are two independent paintings made by Rembrandt. They were his first full-length painting works. They were painted upon the occasion of the wedding between the two. They have been kept together since their inception. The paintings show the couple at full length, and this was the most expensive form of marriage pendant and could only fit in a high ceiling house. The painting is currently owned by the Rijks Museum and the Louvre, who have an arrangement that they should not be separated, with each institution owning 50% of each painting. Number 7. Wasserschlangen 2 Translated to mean Water Serpents 2. This painting was done by Gustav Klimt in 1907. It is a follow-up to Water Serpents 1. It deals with women's sensuality and same-sex relationships. It is composed of oil on canvas. It was the last in a series of Klimt's works from 1898, which all had water nymphs as his painting subjects. The painting, seen as a non-controversial portrayal of mythic figures, is said to have the deeper meaning of a lesbian orgy hidden in a plain sight. The history of ownership for this piece is long, with it being stolen by Nazis to Bouvier tricking a customer in 2013. Now, it is rumored to be owned by an unnamed Qatari princess and not available for viewing. It is valued at $180 million. Number 6. Number 6 Violet Green and Red This oil and canvas painting was completed in 1951 by the Latvian-American abstract expressionist artist Mark Rutko. If you don't like plain paintings, then you won't relate to this one. It consists of large expanses of color, delineated by large expanses of hazy, uneven shades. Rotko wanted to produce art that would immerse the viewer into his color, done by making his canvases huge, tall, and wide, that the viewer's focus would be covered entirely by the boundaries of his work. Sadly, one can only appreciate the beauty of this painting if one sees them face to face. It was sold to Rebolab at twice its price for $186 million. Number 5. Number 17A. This is an abstract expressionist painting by Jackson Pollock, featured in the August edition of Life in 1949. 
The painting is oil paint on fiberboard created by splashing paint onto a horizontal surface, making it a drip painting. Who knew splashing colors could make you famous? He is the artist who introduced the drip technique of painting. Initially, this painting method was unpopular and very cheap, until his feature on life made his name a household name. The painting was sold at a private auction in 2015 by the David Geffen Foundation for a whopping $200 million to Kenneth C. Griffin. Number 4. Nafia FAA Ipoipo Created by French post-impressionist artist Paul Goffin, the painting is named in Tahiti to mean when will you marry. Goffin traveled to Tahiti in hope of finding an Edenic paradise where he could create pure, primitive art as opposed to the fox works in France. He found most of the population had been killed by European diseases but went along and drew Tahitian women in many forms, nude, traditionally dressed, and in European clothes. This popular painting has a traditionally dressed woman with a flower behind her left ear indicating she is looking for a husband. Behind her is the second figure in high-necked cloth sitting erectly. Art historians have cited Goff and used the picture to show that the Tahitians lived only to sing and make love. This painting was sold reportedly to Qatar's royal family in 2014 for $300 million. Number 3. The Card Players This is a painting that many of us can relate to. It is a part of a five series. It shows five gamblers immersed in their pipes playing cards and relatively decreasing until two players remain. It was painted by French artist Paul Cézanne in the early 1980s and was part of his greatest works. The motivation behind the pieces was to clear the stereotypes of card playing. Instead of portraying the gamblers in a rowdy tavern drunk, he wanted to show card playing as the form of communication among peasants outside work. In each painting, the gamblers are depicted as quiet and still concentration and looking at the cards other than each other. This piece was bought by the royal family of Qatar in 2011 and is approximated to value from 200 to 300 million dollars today. Number 2. Interchange This is an abstract expressionist wall painting made by Dutch-American painter William de Kooning in 1955. It was as part of his transition from drawing the human form as most of his pictures depicted women. It was some sort of landscape work, the first of many. The name was given to the painting as a correspondent to the neighborhood he was living in at that time in New York. It was sold to Kenneth C. Griffin, CEO of Hedge Fund Citadel, for $300 million. It is currently on loan to the Art Institute of Chicago. Number 1. Salvatar Mundi our list cannot be complete without a masterpiece from Leonardo da Vinci himself. This piece was painted 500 years ago and had issues as to whether it was da Vinci's work or his students. The painting meaning Savior of the World depicts Christ with his right hand raised in blessing and his left hand holding an orb known as Globus Cruciger which symbolizes the earth. There are at least 30 copies and variations of the painting in the world today. It was sold to the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia for a hefty $450 million at a Christie's auction in 2017. Before we end this video, it is important to mention Leonardo da Vinci's other famous painting, the Mona Lisa. It is the most expensive painting in the world, being described as the best known, most visited, most written about, most sung about, and the most parodied work of art in the world. It holds a record in the Guinness Book of Records as the highest known insurance valuation in history at $100 million in 1962. That is equivalent of $870 million today. It is not on the list since no one has ever purchased it and the French government has declared it as not for sale and is on display at the Louvre Museum. That's all for today. Let us know which painting's history has intrigued you the most and which one would you love to see in the comments below. Remember to like this video, share it with fellow art lovers, subscribe for more amazing items and turn on the notification bell for more updates on such amazing videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.